YouTuber Ben <laughs> Jordan has released a video demonstrating some serious security and privacy concerns with Flock Safety's license plate cameras and their public safety technology ecosystem. Flock Safety is an American manufacturer and operator of automatic license plate readers, ALPRs, video surveillance, and gunfire locator systems with more than 80,000 of their cameras deployed in the U.S. Flock operates many of these systems under contract for thousands of police departments plus other agencies, neighborhood associations, and private property owners. The video builds on a white paper from independent security researcher John Gaines documenting more than 50 vulnerabilities in Flock safety systems. The video reports that multiple Flock safety accounts belonging to public safety authorities were found for sale on the dark web and notes that Flock does not require two-factor authentication for some of their police department clients. <sighs> It gets oh. better. Researchers found that by pressing the button on a flock camera in a particular pattern, you can enable a wireless access point on the device. Oh, that's awesome. After connecting to that access point, an attacker can send a command to enable ADB and then connect directly <laughs> to the flock device, allowing them to access all its data, allowing them to install their own software, and just generally use the device however they want. You know, there's a lot of different, this is a completely unrelated note, but there's been a lot of different sites that have started track, uh, traffing uh, different movement of like ice vehicles and police activity and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it would be a real shame if it just worked the opposite way that they had intended for it to work. Anyway, if connecting to that access point is too much effort, Gaines also created a tool to make it even easier for anyone to gain full control of one of these cameras. Gaines says, the longest part actually is waiting for the access point to turn on. Realistically, about five seconds. <laughs> and it's not just the cameras. If you're trying to take over one of Flock's AI compute boxes, so that's an edge processing device that's used as part of their license plate recognition system, you don't even need to go to the trouble of turning on that access point. The device's USB-C port is just sitting there waiting for something to be plugged in, and Gain says you can just plug in a rubber ducky and walk away. So a rubber ducky is a USB device that pretends to be a keyboard and then sends pre-programmed keystrokes to the target device. We did a video about them a few years ago. They're super cool. And then once you have access, you can literally do anything you want on the device, including editing or outright replacing footage. It gets better. Flox apps are installed on their devices with debugging enabled. Nice. Which, among other shenanigans, means that execution can be paused mid-run and memory can be accessed and modified, which yada 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 leads to remote code <laughs> execution with root privileges <laughs> researchers also found that flock cameras had a concerning level of hard-coded data including a list of preferred wi-fi networks oh that's awesome so by setting up dummy access points with those yeah. network names yeah. and then blocking access to cellular data Researchers were able to trick flock cameras into connecting to the dummy networks and then routing their traffic through them. Sick. Analyzing the traffic with the usual tools, researchers found additional credentials being sent in clear oh, text. Beautiful. Absolute cinema. Some of this stuff, I wonder if it's like uh, intentional. Like the developers working for flock are just like, yeah, this kind of statewide surveillance is fucked. let's make sure the stuff sucks like one, is that one, the, one could hope i don't know i doubt it yeah never attribute i to, doubt it too you know whatever that could be adequately explained by stupidity i hope there's at least one if you want to go with a real old school attack researchers also found considerable rf signal leakage coming from newer flock cameras and discovered that it was possible to use a modern version of a Tempest attack to see the live view of the camera <laughs> by simply isolating and decoding the camera data stream from the leaking RF signals. Dan, I've seen the comments. 
I know that there's a toucan somewhere in the frame, but my ability to can has been lost on this WAN show. I can't anymore. He's going to have to go. Where is he? I don't know. I haven't been able to find him. Oh, Sir Ability Toucan. Oh. Farewell for the rest of this WAN show because I do not have the ability to can anymore because <laughs> I can't. And I'm not done yet. The problems aren't just in their hardware. Researchers also found an exposed API key on a flock demo site that shows some of the things that public safety agencies are storing in ArcGIS, a popular geographic information system, which, by the way, was recently found to be compromised by a Chinese state-sponsored hacking group. Of course it was. This means that any and all data that agencies are tracking in ArcGIS may be compromised, including personal information of officers and agents, oh. live locations of patrol cars and suspect vehicles, oh. and any other vehicle seen on one of Flock's cameras, wow. and so on and so forth. Believe it or not, we're not done yet. Or, well, we're done. But that's still just the tip of the iceberg. Go check out the video, Dan, if you want to drop it in all the chats, yeah. from Ben Jordan, or check out John Gaines' white paper. Both are excellent. U.S. Senator Ron Wyden of Oregon and Representative Raja, uh-oh, Raja of Illinois have requested that the FTC open an investigation of Flock Safety's cybersecurity practices. Uh, and if you want to see if any of these systems are being used near you, you can check out the EFF's Atlas of Surveillance. Who could have possibly seen this coming? I don't know. Not but Flock. I, I not do. with their army of cameras. I do. I, I am wondering. So, so Ben, Ben is also the person who uh, did the whole "I saved a PNG to a bird" thing. I know Diamond Dave pointed this out, but I was, I was just kind of putting that together myself as well. Save a PNG to a bird. Flock. What's going on here? Ben has an has an interesting interest in birds. It's all bird related. Okay. He's that trying to tell us. Is he is trying to tell us something. Okay. Are the power the lines birds, actually how they charge? The, the birds are surveillance is I think what's happening. I think they aren't real. Yeah, they might not be real. Wake up. If I take off my headphones, do I not have to listen to you people? 